What's up everybody, Manny from Motor Million here. Today I'm going to finally present you 650's Motor Million M1000RR that's officially finished. And we've done a walk around on this bike before, but I'm going to take you through it and show you all the new upgrades that we've done. Some of you might already notice it, but let's see uh, how many of you guys noticed it before I even mentioned it. But we'll start off quickly from behind this bike. The biggest difference that was made on this bike, I think, is the subframe in the back. King David beautifully painted it to match the M1000RR paint scheme. It saves quite a bit of weight and, you know, who doesn't like carbon fiber? Look at this thing, it's all carbon throughout. And right down here, one of the upgrades that we had done last time 650E was here is that we've uh, installed this new mid-length pipe by Akrapovich that's available. It's made it to the titanium headers. It has this beautiful carbon can with the titanium tip in the back. We have our MM Racing light and rear rotors on this bike. You may see these on some Motor America bikes. It lightens up the back and, you know, we're, we're trying to save as much weight as possible. So one of the big changes peeking through is this Olin shock, the TTX GP rear shock. This is an M1000RR specific shock since the linkage is different than an S1000RR. And right down here, the Litec rear sets, usually the R series has the red piece right here where the foot pegs go, but we've uh, changed it to the blue. These are available as a special edition now in blue too. So if you want that blue color on your S1000RR or M1000RR, you could keep that blue theme going. And speaking of blue, all the blue prototype bolts, we've tried to use them everywhere as possible. And the TWM cam cover over here, the cam inspection cover as we call it, it fits on both sides of the bike. So you could run this on the right side and the left side cover and the TWM oil filler cap as well. So this bike is running the full six race belly pan. There's also a street version. The biggest difference is that there's a big hole for the cat here in the bottom of the belly pan. And this panel is usually closed on the racing one. So the, the race one is complete one piece and it does hold fluid in it. And the street one, it has that hole, as I mentioned in the bottom, that makes room for the cat so that you can run it on the stock exhaust, on a slip-on or on a full race exhaust. We're running the Rizoma frame sliders. It doesn't stick out at all and it never catches your attention. And that's what we like because we want to keep it a little clean looking. And right on top of it, we have the full six shark fin, the carbon fiber one. And this bike obviously being an M1000 alert comes stock with the winglets. Down here, last time 650E was here, we really wanted to give it what this bike deserved. So as you can see, we've given it the Olin's forks because this bike didn't come with the Olin's forks and as they call it, it's the gold standard in suspension technology, which we also agree with. And we're running this blue Brembo Stylema calipers, which was custom painted and running the big cooling ducts on it. And some people look at this and ask what this is. This is the Alpha Racing Quick Release front axle. All you do is you, you put a half inch socket in here and you could remove the axle without having to have any special tools. Obviously you have to undo the pinch bolts on it, but you don't have to have the front axle tool for the bike. And right up here on the cockpit area of the bike, we're running the Performance Technologies clutch and brake lever guards. We're running that symmetrical M1000RR theme because if you haven't noticed, this bike is not symmetrical in the color scheme that it has. It has some reds on this side, some blue on this side. So we continued it on with 650E's uh, traditional theme as well because he had it on one of his uh, first S1000s that it was running different colors on each side. And right up here, we have the 17RCS Corsa Corta Master Cylinder, which has a TWM low drag lever end and we're running the TWM clutch lever to match everything on this side. The Rizoma brake reservoir with the stall bus bleeders. These bleeders, as I always say, it, they make a world of difference when you go to bleed the brakes. And one of the very popular upgrades on this bike is the Rizoma winglet mirrors. These are the same as an S1000RR. I think it's one of the hottest items right now for this bike. And up front, one new thing that we added was the air intake nose piece, which gets rid of the plastic piece in front and it gives it that aggressive look in the front of the bike. We're running the WRS double bubble windscreen as it is with most of the bikes that we run that it's available for. It makes it a lot easier to tuck right under the, the windscreen since it's taller. Also, one of the things that I wanna mention with the WRS windscreens, why we like them so much is that the, the clarity of the windscreen is 
perfect. There's barely any spots that there is any distortion and that's what you want on a windscreen because when you're tucked behind it, you're actually looking through the windscreen. One other piece here is the TWM steering stem nut. We're running it in red on this bike. And right around on the side also, we have the red timing inspection plug, which on this side, it goes as the alternator inspection plug. It's the same plug basically, it's just a different color on this side. Again, you can see all the Pro-Type bolts. We're running the full six electronics cover, which is this carbon piece right over here. Of course, the Samco blue hoses and the Alpha Racing Quick Shifter, which I think it makes one of the biggest changes in, in riding this bike because you feel the sponginess of the, the shift lever on the bikes on the S1000s, on the M1000s, the stock quick shifters. This having Heim joints on it makes the biggest difference on the shifter feel and it makes it a lot more direct. And we have the swing arm pivot bolt right over here. That's made by Litec. And right behind it, you see the EK3D chain and our trusted SIDA 520 conversion kit running the pro tie bolts. These are blue. It's a little dirty right now because we've been having fun with this bike. And our trusted NRC tail tidy kits. As mentioned, we always run these. We never deviate from it because of the safety aspect of it and how beautifully it's made. And it's made here right in the United States. So overall, this is the M1000RR, the Motor Million M1000RR. We're happy to have it here and we've been privileged to do some of the work on it and get to share it with you guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Now I'll just start it up. I won't rev it too much because we don't want to make too much noise, but so that you guys can hear this beautiful motorcycle. As you can hear that Akrapovich mid-length carbon can has a beautiful, really sophisticated sound to it without being overly loud. But anyhow, this was the Motor Millennium 1000 RR. Thank you for watching and have a great one, guys.